Hello Minecrafters! Today I'm going to show you how to build this Japanese inspired nether portal. Here are a list of all the materials you're going to need for this build. Before we get started, here is a layout for the build. Once you have your layout done that's 13 by 13, we're going to put one layer of stone bricks down the whole way around the square. On each one of these stairs here, we're going to put three blocks here, three blocks here, and then stairs going like that. Next, we're going to make the floor coming along like this, but leaving a one block gap along there. And then fill this in. Now put upside down stone stairs around the outside edge. Now we have a complete foundation. Now find the center of this build by going in the middle of both of the stairs and place a temporary block like that. And then take some obsidian and make a 5x5 five five square around that temporary block. And it's going to end up looking like that. Now place 7 blocks of obsidian in each corner. And then connect them across like this to make the 4 portals that we're going to build. Now cover all the outside edges of the obsidian with cherry trap doors. And we're going to do that on all four sides. Now extend this up by two blocks going the whole way around on top of the obsidian. Then run one layer of cherry planks the whole way around this bottom section here. Now we're going to lay out the pillars. Come here to one of the corners and place a barrel there, put a space and another barrel, and do the same on this side and the same the whole way around. And that's the layout for the pillars that we're going to build. Now crouch and place three stripped spruce logs on top of each one of these barrels. And then a barrel on top of each one of the logs. On each corner, crouch and place two more stripped spruce logs like that. And then by each entrance here, crouch and place a spruce stair like that. And then connect all of them using more stripped spruce logs. Now on each side take a spruce stair and put it there and there. And then put one this way and this way with a spruce trap door in the middle. And repeat on all four sides. Now put four cherry blossom trap doors in each one of the eight windows. If you don't know how to stack trapdoors like that, you need to crouch before you place them. Then uncrouch and open them up. Next, put an oak slab in the middle of each door. Put an oak stair there and there, and the same on the other side. Then put an oak trapdoor on each one of those pillars, and four oak trapdoors across the top like that. And now repeat on each one of the sides. Now take a spruce plank to one of the corners and place two of them like that and put two cherry slabs on top. Run cherry planks along there and put two more planks at the end and some slabs on top. Now repeat that on all four sides. Come to a corner with your dark oak slabs, place two there, a temporary one there, and one sticking out like that. Then come here and run them across here, two more like that, temporary block, and one like that. Then come down below and place a dark oak fence gate the whole way along there, and then open them all up. And repeat this on all four sides. Place an oak plank in the corner, cherry slabs across and another oak plank in the corner and do that the whole way around this middle section. Then come to a corner, place a cherry plank there, a cherry slab, 
a stair there, another slab, stair, slab, stair, and slab, and then at the end a plank, and right here by the stairs place slabs in front of each one like that, and then repeat this on all four sides. Now place a cherry plank there, a temporary block there, and then another one going up like that to make a peak and repeat that process on this side till you have a roof that looks like this. And now do the same on this side. Then place an oak plank in the middle and oak stairs on each side like this. Then take your dark oak stairs and place them going up with a dark oak plank at the top and do the same thing on this side and now repeat on all the other sides. Next, take your cherry planks and bring them across the top to make a bit of an X like this. And then we're going to fill in each roof like that. Place a dark oak plank in the middle and then dark oak stairs coming this direction on all four sides. On each one of these roof ends, place a dark oak trapdoor there, a dark oak fence gate that's been opened, and then crouch and place a dark oak trapdoor on top like that. Now come in on the inside here and place a cherry plank in each corner like this. Put cherry planks in the ceiling to fill in this gap here. Then put cherry trap doors, six of them in each window like this. On the inside, put a hopper at the top in the middle and two chains below it. Put some glowstone or whatever light block you want with four pink banners around the outside. Then come into the corners and place a chain and a lantern like that to make the windows glow on all four sides. In each corner, place a cherry fence, a chain, and then a flower pot, and then a cherry sapling inside that flower pot like that. On the side of each stair, place a pot, a flower pot, a cherry sapling inside that pot, and then place a cherry leaf on the top like that. If you want to make nice paths going up to it, just bring a shovel and put a path like that. And then put some rooted dirt beside the edges and maybe some coarse dirt as well to make a nice path going up to this nether portal. Now the last thing you have to do is come in here and light all four portals and you are set to go to the nether. I hope you enjoyed this little nether portal build. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.